What is up, diecast homies? It's me, Sean, back again with another video. You might, if you looked at the last few videos, I didn't, you probably have seen me buy, like, the, these vintage diecast. So, and, so, I can, I got excited. I was up for quite a bit of nights thinking about it. And I you know, went back and bought some more cars. Vintage Sidecast. From the same vendor at the antique store. So. I'm going to give you a presentation of. Of 10 vintage Sidecast cars I bought. Alright, here we go. First one. We got the, we got maybe a 1990 release, Nissan 300ZX, with the ultra hot wheels, with the opening doors, with the red sparkly, little red metallic paint job. I got excited on this one, all metal casting. Probably worth ten, fifteen dollars. Next, I I got the the nineteen sixty seven Camaro. I think this is from. I'm not mistaken, like from a nineteen eight either an eighty two or an eighty nineteen eighty two nineteen eighty four. Release probably. No, there was two variations. One of them has a Hong Kong base, and one has a Malaysia base. And I had the Malaysia base. These are worth around twenty five fifty dollars. This has the opening HUD, but I don't want to open it anymore because I'm afraid that it's just it's just gonna flap open. So. I'm getting some of this uh, information from, if you know the channel, WTFFOR. Uh, he has the, please check him out. If you don't know him, you're not a real diecast collector or enjoyer. Because he has some very good quality content. And just year by year videos and and diecast reviews and stuff. Just check them out, please. All right, next one we got a um mm. I'm I'm having a brain for I forgot its name. Oh, byway man. This is a Byway Man, probably a 1987 release, probably. Or it was like $10, $15. This is in very good shape. Oh. Oh, I just realized I might have a rare variation. <laughs> Another rare variation is the ones without the toolboxes in the back. I thought mine did have toolboxes, but it does not. I'm going to have to look deeper into this. Because this might be an expensive piece. Next, I don't have much information on this one. I got a Peterbilt semi truck with the dumper. I can't really put it up all that well. It looks like it might have broken off and the last owner super glued it. Which I don't really mind, but I just don't like how it's like this. I want it like that. I've not seen this thing, like, really anywhere right now. This is the Hot Wheels Ultra Hots. This is the Solar CX-4. There is a chrome variation. There's a 
there's a silver variation, and I have the silver one. <clears throat> I don't know which one's rarer. Oh, this has suspension. Look at that. Next, I have Chevy Bla Blazer 4x4 Malaysia base. Got the beadlocks, metal base, of course. Oh. I just realized this has opening doors. I did not realize that. This is a 1982 release, I think. Because, like, 82 or 84 is hmm, this one. I'm excited. I thought this didn't have opening doors. Next, we got the Wonder Van. The hostess truck. You know that scene in Zombieland? Where, where they parked the truck in the truck and it didn't well Tallahassee comes to try to get the Twinkies and it all snowballs. I wanna see if I can make a diorama of the scene. And this is the truck. The hostess truck. Very nice. Next we have the good humor truck. The good humor ice cream truck. I know this is an early release because it has it says popsicle on there. There's three variation and no four variations. Now yeah, one of them has a popsicle on right there. Another one has and it's blurred off. They put a box over the popsicle, which makes no sense. I don't know why they do that. And then another one, it's a box over it, but. Eh, but the blue stripes around the good humor and all the blue ones are in red. And then the last release is and changed it back, but they put they took the box and the popsicle off, like the the both off and put strawberry on there. I don't know why they take off popsicle. It's just popsicle. I don't understand. I don't know. Next, we got in it. it says seventy six big rig, but this is a this is a Kenworth semi truck. I ha I have one, but it's really 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 beat up. I'm in the process of maybe restoring it, but I don't know since like these wheel wells are like broken and bent. Maybe that's a common issue, or what happens over when you're pl it's being played a lot. Oh, did I? Nope, I didn't damage anything. It's there. One more. I got a question for you, vintage diecast enthusiasts. If you haven't seen my post and you see this video, I got a question. I got the, hmm. I got the, hmm. The street rotor, it's called a street rotor, but it's a, but it's a Suzuki, I think a samurai, I don't know. But, hmm. Or a Suzuki sidekick, I think so. But one side, alright, this is the hood. It has orange deco right there. This has a red deco. And this has an orange deco on the other side. I don't know anything about this. I can't find it anywhere. I looked this up on eBay and there... I can't even find one that has an orange tampo. I just see all red tampos. So this might be either an error or a very rare variation. A huge question on this one. Yeah. That's about it. But what are your guys' thoughts on my new haul? I might come back for some more. 
So, I hate to wrap this up early. It's only like 10 minutes, but... I have to end the video, okay? Alright, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And please hit the notification bell to hmm, receive new videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.